Hi everyone and welcome back and if you're new here, I am Prakriti and in today's video, I am going to show you how to create a nude glam makeup look. I have already done a neutral glam makeup tutorial so I thought why not do a nude glam too. In this tutorial, I will also be showing you how I contour my face to make it pop. So yes, let's get started. The first thing will be color correction. Here I am using a lip and cheek tint to color correct the under eye darkness and the hyperpigmentation around my mouth. First I spread it with my fingers in a controlled manner and then I press it and lock it in with a makeup sponge. And for makeup sponge, today I will be using the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. Anyways, that's my favorite sponge, so yes, I basically use it every day, but yes, just so you guys know, I am going to use that sponge. So here I am just pressing in the product. What it will do is it will just lock the product in so that it doesn't move with the other base products that we are going to apply in a few minutes. The second step will be highlighting the light capturing areas of your face and I feel that ignoring contour can sometimes make your face look dull and dimensionless. So you can skip this if you are doing a natural makeup but I am just using my Age Rewind concealer over here because today I'm not doing a natural makeup look and I want my face to look very you know dimensional. I am just using my Age Rewind Eraser Concealer in medium and I'm applying it under my eyes, around my mouth and on my forehead, my nose, my chin. Then I blend it into my skin with a makeup sponge. Now I know that while I'm blending this and after this my face is going to look very pale. I'll just neutralize all of that out, just trust me. Now the foundation will neutralize all of this making sure that the areas that I highlight look highlighted. Now for carving out my cheekbones, jaw and forehead I am using the Nykaa Skin Genius Foundation Stick in 07 and I'm just applying it in the desired areas with a brush. Now I feel that I have more control over the product when I use a brush instead of directly using it from the stick. So yes, I'm slightly contouring my nose too. So again to blend it all out and lock it in, I am just using a sponge. So here I'm just carving out my jawline and uh, I make sure that I keep a normal face while doing this and I don't stretch the skin on my jawline because then you will get a different kind of result which is not so flattering. You have to be normal and then carve out your jawline. Make sure that you blend the product over there because I forget it most of the times. So yes, you have to blend it. For foundation, I'm using the Nykaa Skin Genius Foundation in 05. This is a sheer coverage foundation and it is slightly darker than my skin tone. I use it to neutralize everything. It's darker than my concealer but lighter than my contour shade. So yes, that's how it works. To set my face, I'm using the Sugar Set the Tone Tinted Powder in Chococino. This is my favorite setting powder of all time. It's a bit costly but it's totally worth the money. After setting my face, I use a tiny bit of the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in light medium under my eyes with a brush just to give it the highlighted sort of effect. Now let's get to the eyes. First of all, I'm using the Maybelline Age Rewind in medium to get an even base. I am blending it with the help of my sponge first and then I will blend it out with a brush to make sure that everything is evened out properly. 
then I'm taking the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer in Dark Cocoa on a brush and uh, now I'm just going to contour my eyes and lift them up basically. So I apply it in my outer corner and start blending it from there. First I use my finger to lighten it up a little bit because you want a tiny amount. Then I take my brush and sort of flick it out to wing it and then I soften it with my finger again. Once that is done, next I'm using a warm transition shade from the Swiss Beauty palette and I'm applying it in my crease with a really fluffy brush. This is going to be my transition shade. After this, I am using a deep brown chocolate shade from the palette and pressing it on the outer corner first and blending it from there into my crease all the way to my inner corner. Now I'm also flicking this shade out to give it a winged effect. Next I am using a golden shimmer from the Makeup Revolution Surprise Egg. I suppose that was the name. Anyways, I'm applying it on my eyelid and it's just a very basic eye look that looks really chic. So yeah, I'm just building it up to get full pigmentation out of it. You don't have to be very precise while applying this. It should look soft but defined at the same time if you understand what I'm trying to say. So yes, I am just, you can see I'm using a really stiff kind of a brush so that I can control the amount of pigment that I'm using. For my lower lash line, I am applying the same shades that I applied to my crease. The transition shade first followed by the chocolate brown shade. Alright so I did my brows and now to clean them up I use a matte white kind of shade. This will blend properly once you have completed your eyes and it will also give your brows a lifted effect. Now next you guys know the drill mascara eyeliner lashes and then I'm applying a highlight shade to my inner corner and brow bone. You can also apply coal to your waterline to intensify this look. For powder contour I'm using the Nykaa Contour and Conquer Duo. I'm going on my cheekbones, forehead and jawline. Now I'm really not going to touch my nose anymore because you know I did the cream contour stuff on that and I don't think I want to do anything more than that but that's just my personal preference if you want you can contour your nose. So next I'm going to use a lip and cheek color on my cheeks. I spread it on my hand, pick it up on my sponge and dab it on my cheeks. Now also I will be topping it off with a powder blush. This technique will make your blush long lasting. For highlight, I'm using the Maybelline Master Chrome in Metallic Gold and I'm just applying it on the high points of my face like I generally do. Now for lips, I want to keep it super nude so I'm using the NYX Lip Lingerie in Beauty Mark and applying it as a base on my lips. To nudify it ultimately I am using the ASMR Testry lipstick in nude on the center of my lips and I'm just going to blend it in with the help of my fingers. So that's it for the video you guys. I hope you liked this nude glam makeup look. If you did give this video a thumbs up consider subscribing to my channel and obviously you can share this video with a makeup lover and i'll see you in my next video bye